Alright folks and welcome back to another video. So a few days ago I finally got to build on the Ryzen platform with Ryzen 5 which was released back in March or April time. For any of you following the channel you'll know I've covered rumours and leaks speculating around Ryzen from as far back as May 2015. After building a 7700K KB Lake system a few months back it was great and quite refreshing to build a current up to date AMD system as I'm currently using an FX8320 as my day to day driver which is infinitely starting to show its age in tasks like video editing and rendering and to get a feel for what Ryzen is all about. So I had my friend Adam approach me about helping out and to overlook his first PC build. He's from a software engineering background and has always wanted a gaming PC but now he's finally bit the bullet and done it. So for the specs we've used a Ryzen 5 1600 for this build. 6 cores, 12 threads, a 3.2 GHz base and 3.6 GHz boost clock respectively. Adequate for smooth gaming and efficient advanced multi-processing performance for when he's doing development work or day to day tasks in his career. Not to mention the low power consumption and TDP of a mere 65 watts. So with all this in mind Adam wanted a small form factor case for accessible movement of his build whether it be LAN parties or general transportation. So the fractal design defined mini C was a given, disregarding the fact that it took us an hour to work out how to remove the front of the case along with the dust filter. The user manual didn't help in the slightest and even Dimitri's video from Hardware Canucks didn't help us. So as I'm sure most of you are aware of the cryptocurrency boom and crash that's happened with the likes of Ethereum. This meant that mid-range price graphics cards that are ideal for mining became impossible to purchase. With this, Adam had wanted to get a GPU like the GTX 1070 and because of the difficulty buying one, he resorted into buying a second-hand GPU in part exchange with a company here in the UK called CEX to make sure the rest of his hardware was working fine and until the prices stabilised and become possible to purchase again. So he bought a GTX 760 for the time being and CEX decided to send him a GTX 550 Ti in the GTX 760 box. Today he sent me a picture of how CEX carelessly wrapped up the 760 so let this be a warning to anybody in the UK demographic considering buying any kind of hardware off them in the future. With this being said, we both want to add benchmarks to this video but due to the lack of availability of the 1070, we decided it's best to just document the build time lapse and possibly follow up this video with a benchmarks video in the future when he gets the 1070. All parts list for this build will be included in the video in the description below. But for now, enjoy the time lapse. Right Adam, moment of truth my boy, moment of truth, moment of truth, moment of truth, let's go. We good? We good. And she's fucking posted, yeah boy, yeah. Yeah, boy. Oh, yeah, boy. Go 
Still one on the other side. Huh? Still one on the other side. Is there? Yeah. The inside one. Oh, down. It's all good. It's all good.